For the last 50 years in Livingston, there has been a debate centering on the issue of how to gain more access to the north side of the tracks. Currently, there is only access via the 5th Street crossing and the B Street underpass. There is, however, a proposal on the table to build an underpass at the intersection of West Front Street and Star Road. While this location is ideal for a crossing, there are several key issues with this project. The first of which being that unlike B Street Underpass, which is shielded by several buildings and a good deal of vegetation, the West End Underpass is situated directly north of a large field that is approximately 80 acres in size. This offers no protection from the prevailing winds that blow from the south. Because of the significant excavation required on Highway 10 to facilitate the underpass, this is going to create an earthern wall between the tracks and highway. This earthen wall is going to create a funnel, much like the one the wine glass forms on Paradise Valley. The effect of this funnel will be when the wind blows, it is going to create a high velocity venturi in the underpass. When it snows and the wind blows, it will pick up the loose snow out of the 80-acre field south of the highway and carry that snow through the underpass. Then as the wind loses velocity, it will deposit that snow on the north side of the underpass, forming drifts on the roadway. The next issue of the underpass is the layout itself. When overlaid on the 5th Street crossing, you can see the underpass is built on very similar dimensions to the 5th Street crossing. Anyone who has attempted to use the 5th Street crossing at the same time as a semi knows that it can make for tight quarters and tense situations. There are currently several trucking companies that operate from the north side of the tracks. Gary Prince Trucking, John Prince Trucking, and the National Guard Armory are some of the largest operations which see semi-truck traffic there are other small operations as well. The next issue with the underpass is that in moving Star Road approximately 150 feet to the west, as the current plan calls for, it will require the seizure and destruction of the building at 101 Star Road through eminent domain. Not only will this be expensive, but it will destroy one of the few commercial properties on the north side of the tracks and displace the business that is currently residing at the location. As well, the plan does not show how it will connect Sunrise Drive back into Star Road, and this could complicate access to the West Side Hill. The reason there are so many issues with the current underpass proposal is that essentially the plan is 50 years old. The design dimensions of the underpass are very similar to the B Street underpass, and for a growing city is just no longer a viable option. In addition to the effect on 101 Star Road, the first six properties on the opposite side of Star Road that are built on the base of the hill will also have access issues. This is because some of these properties' driveways will become excessively steep due to the excavation of Star Road to make the grade for the underpass. There is, however, a more modern, more feasible solution. Livingston resident George Denton, a civil engineer, has proposed an overpass at the same location. This overpass would serve to eliminate all of the issues with the underpass. The overpass would feature a turn lane from Highway 10, as well as a turn lane for traffic turning east onto Highway 10 from Star Road. As well, the overpass would allow for a much better flow of traffic, eliminating the dogleg required for the underpass and having a minimal effect on the privately owned structures in the area. Building the overpass will provide residents on the north side of the tracks fast, easy access to downtown Livingston or to Interstate 90, and it will allow the city to continue and grow while improving the quality of life for residents in these areas. Safety is another big concern on Highway 10. 
The current speed limit is 60 miles per hour. With the current underpass design, vehicles on Star Road will not become visible to traffic on Highway 10 until they are approximately 20 feet from the intersection, leaving the possibility for traffic on Highway 10 to be surprised when a vehicle pulls out of the underpass. Additionally, when roads become icy, traffic on Highway 10 will be traveling downhill, which means, if necessary, stopping will be much more difficult and accidents are more likely. However, with the overpass, traffic coming from Star Road to Highway 10 will be visible from the time it crosses the Front Street intersection, if not further. Drivers on Highway 10 will be able to see this traffic longer and will be less likely to be surprised, and should a panic stop become necessary to avoid an accident, the traffic on Highway 10 will be traveling uphill. Thus you can see the overpass will be much safer, convenient, and effective as a long-term solution to the problem that will improve our quality of life for all residents on the north side of the tracks and all residents of Livingston by reducing the pressure on the 5th Street Crossing and B Street Underpass. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Please like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Livingston Overpass for more information on the projects, events, meetings, and news pertaining to the Overpass project. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the link in the video.